when I was growing up as a girl in Prosperity, West Virginia, that's right outside of Beckley, um, I was an only child, but I had a wonderful mother who probably at that time, I didn't realize what an inspiration she was on my life. But she has just, uh, as I get older, you know, she just, so many of the things she told me and taught me has just come to be to fruition and it's just been wonderful. For the girls who never made it anywhere but home. For the couldas, the shouldas, the wouldas I tried. Regrets. Like shotgun pellets missing the can, ambition shooting up landscapes, or stuck in the well. Well, I was. Well, I did. Well, I met. Well, but. But what? But you didn't. No better, no worse. You went that route only to return and turn those coulda, shoulda, wouldas into a life, a poem of sorts. Where almost is good enough. Almost heaven. Almost famous. Feel confident in yourself. You have the power to do everything. You know, it used to be maybe 20 years ago, 25 years ago, that girls and women were not meant to be in the technical field. But right now, um, as I was growing up, um, I, I'm a teacher. Uh, my daughter at that time, well, when I was growing up, people were teachers, you know, that's why you went to school. Now that's all changed. I have a daughter who's a doctor. We always encourage her to go on beyond what she wanted to do, and if that's what she wanted to do, do it, you know. So we have to uh, do the techno te technology of today. We have to keep up with, with women. People are more interested in this now. So, you know, just shoot for the moon. You can do anything that you want to do and just get the support behind you. And again, thank you for letting me come today and see you all and have a great month. And please go to the Culture Center and see the exhibits. It's wonderful. Thank you.